Hello everyone and welcome back to Farm Center 22. We're back here at No Man's Land with Grover Games. So last month we had a quite a bit busy month. We got all our canola in and we're going to be getting to work getting that stuff taken care of today. As you can tell as we walk out here. We already got a little bit of weed pressure going on out here. And it looks like we need some nitrogen. So I think today is going to be a good day for us to break out. Oh, it's going to be a great day for us to break out our, our new self-propelled sprayer and get that used. Um... The one thing I was looking at this morning is that there's this TMR mixer for sale. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking we're going to pick it up just because it's a little bit bigger size. And I think it's going to, oh, it's just going to be a little bit better fit for our farm, so to speak. It'll be nice to be able to mix a bigger batch of feed and such like that. Um, let's see. I just think I want to put a few options on it. Right back door, left back door, okay. And I think we're just gonna go, I think that's what we're gonna go with, to be honest with you. Let's change that, let's, so we'll pick this up sometime today. We'll buy that, and we'll get rid of our old one, just so we have a little bit of a bigger one. Um, we're gonna be working on getting our, old... let's see here. We're going to get our cattle taken care of here this morning. And like I said, today we we got quite a few things we'll be working on. We got our... Oh, we got our spray... Our, getting our nitrogen down and getting our weed control done today. And then we also are going to be doing corn silage today. I don't know how much I plan on doing right now. We're still sitting at... We're at 30,000 liters, so we are actually probably sitting pretty dang good yet that we probably don't need to, per se. But, just so we stay ahead of the curb and everything, I think we're going to work on that. Actually, you know what? Since we're going to be making quite a bit of feed today, yeah, let's, let's go over here and get another bale out and get that going. And I'll... When we get the new TMR mixer, I'll, mi I'll make a few batch... I'll make a batch or two for the cattle up on the pasture. But right now, I think what we're planning to do, do today. Oh, maybe. There we go. Oh, maybe. Maybe we'll get this all figured out here. Just a second. There we go. But we'll get. We're gonna get feed started. TMR mixing down here that right away, so we can get this all topped off again. Um. And we're gonna. We're gonna get right away this morning started with spraying because um I figure if we can we got rain in the forecast and if we need to I think we might jump ahead next episode on it just because I'm not sure how long it's gonna take us to get the corn silage ready I mean we're not even set up to start doing it yet either so we got we got quite a few tasks on our plate today and I'm thinking I'm thinking once it starts to rain maybe we'll head there we go. Got herbicide there. Okay. I'm thinking we'll probably head out. We'll put, get the flatbed hooked up and we'll go and get our new TMR mixer later as well. I'm kind of curious how how not, how this is going to work out. Because I haven't used this mod before. But it was pretty much base game in the old, old one. So it's... I imagine it's going to work out pretty fine. But it's just going to be nice to have a self-propelled sprayer, so to speak, just for the operation. It's going to it's going to cut back on one less tractor that we have to worry about tying up for the season, and I just think it's going to it's going to help us a lot in the long run. And I'm, the only thing I'm curious about is it said it had a speed of 15 miles an hour when spraying, which I don't know if that's going to be the case. Okay, it turns out it is. Okay. I didn't think it was going to be, just to be honest with you. I figured it was going to be a little slower. I was figuring that it was going to figure it in the, oh, the little spreader on the back of here. But we're not. The only time I'll probably ever use that spreader is if we decide to. Kind of clip the rock there. The only time we'll probably actually ever use this spreader is if we, oh, if we decide to do dry fertilizer. And I'm. I I do not see us ever doing that as of right now, but things can change pretty easily in this series, as I notice. But I think... 
Oh yeah, this is gonna take us no time at all to knock out all this between spraying herbicide and getting our nitrogen applied. So we're gonna we're gonna get this started today, and then as soon as we get this done, get our nitrogen down as well, we'll get set up so we can start taking out some corn silage today. And hopefully we can get maybe depending on how far we get with chopping, maybe maybe we'll just chop until it rains. That might not be a bad idea either, since we already we already got quite a bit of corn already shut the. We already got quite a bit of corn silage stashed away, stashed away that I'm not too worried for us, but we'll we'll see what happens here. We'll we'll finally jump into the time lapse here. Oh. Kind of weird. It's kind of a weird pace in here, just how fast we're cruising with this thing. It's gonna take some time to get used to it, but we're gonna jump into the time lapse here finally. And we'll see you guys in a bit.
thinking back on this and everything that went wrong never said goodbye think i broke your trust should have known this all along don't want to be the one that you're trying to avoid i'm feeling so confused why did i act so annoyed because i Standing on the border The walls around me kept me safe I couldn't see that I was shutting you out I'm stuck up and proud But I'm waking up now
All right, everyone, this is where we're going to start wrapping up today's episode. I was hoping to get more chopping done before it started raining, but it's fine. Uh, it was kind of nice to get the t new TMR mixer home, but as you probably noticed, we have a slight issue with it. It uh, sits a little way too tall for us to unload underneath that silo. So I'm trying to decide if I want to get rid of it right away now and go back to our smaller one, or if I'm just going to work through it like I kind of did there. It's going to be really time-consuming if I do it the way I was before but it's I'm not sure what else to do really actually let's actually take a peek here quick um let's go back to animals let's see I don't think anything sit yeah it doesn't look like anything really sits that low for us offloading into that silo um so I decided to sell our milk today as well, and we made about, oh, a little over 6,200 bucks, it looks like, with the environmental score, which is not too bad, actually. But there's, let's go back to what I was looking to look at earlier. Um, I was thinking, let's see what kind of silos we got. Okay. So if we wanted to... We could sell our old stave silo and go to a har 80 foot harvest store one instead of a 60. Which wouldn't actually not bother me really. And, oh, I don't know if that's going to reach. We're going to take a little trip here quick. I don't think that's going to reach the side of the, the Team R wagon. I feel like that's about the same height. Yeah, yeah, it's, that's kind of a predicament we're in now, so I'm going to have to think on what we want to do there, because I don't really want to fill, well, worst case scenario, we could always just fill that little dump trailer, and that would be probably about what we need, first trying to do it with the bucket and the skid loader, but I'm going to have to take some time and think on this. Maybe I'll just have to go back to a smaller wagon, but i much rather not. But, like I said, this is where we're going to start wrapping up today's episode. When we come back, we'll, we'll jump ahead to where it's not raining anymore, and we're going to finish out chopping our corn silage, and I'm going to try to figure out what I want to do about our new TMR and silo situation. But, you got, but if you guys enjoyed today's episode, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. If you're enjoying the content, please subscribe so you can stay up to date to the latest series. Above all else, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day. And most of all, thanks for watching.